Uh, a story that I can remember that I thought was super cool. There was a kid that had just given his life to Jesus and I was taking him through like how to hear the voice of God and he wasn't getting anything, he thought. But as I, as I spoke to him and I, and I just told him what God was telling me, he was like, man, I, it was things that he knew in his heart that God was saying over him. And then I said, God, just help me, please. Like, give me something that this kid will know that you love him. And then I had a, a just a, a picture in my mind's eye of this little baby with the heart-shaped ornament. And then the, and I was like, God, what does this mean? And then the vision fast-forwarded, this mental picture of mine fast-forwarded, and I saw a little eight-year-old boy putting this ornament on a Christmas tree. And I told them this, what I saw, and he said, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. And li literally my heart sank. And I was like, man, I've activated so many people and I want it so bad for this kid. And, and like maybe 15 seconds later, he jumps, he jumps up and starts yelling, oh my God, how can that be? That's so crazy, how can this happen? And I said, man, what, what's going on? Like, tell me what's going on. Like, I, I wanna be here with you in this moment. And he said, and he said that, man, when I was eight years old, I made this little heart-shaped ornament and I put it, and my mom put it on the Christmas tree. And he said, even now today at 17 years old, when I go back home, it's Christmas time. When I go back home, my mom's keeping this Christmas tree up for us. And that heart-shaped ornament still gets put on the tree every year since I was eight years old. So, I mean, it was just beautiful that I was able to give the kid a word of knowledge where God gives you intimate, detailed knowledge about somebody that you don't receive by logical means.